Okay, first I would like to uh, point out uh, what my opponent just said. Um, he asked you all a very rhetorical question. Who checks their website uh, of the area with their busy work schedule? I mean, who checks their who checks their community if there's uh, sexual offenders? People who care about the six-year-old's virginity. Virginity. That's probably who would care. I mean, if you care about the virginity of your six-year-old, you might want to check um, the website to see if there's actually uh, predators around, maybe next door. But just a little something. Um, differences in state regulations. Um, we understand that the problem, is, uh, the, the law is extremely flawed as it is now, but um, the federal government handed this law to all of the states. The states um, can do whatever they want with the law. It's, the states must take it upon themselves. You can, it's kind of like the saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make the horse drink it. You can give the state the law, but I mean, what, what are the states going to do with the law exactly? Um, it's up to them, it's up to the um, people who want to um, keep their citizens sit, uh, safe. Um, let's see. Um, this source was brought up a few times by Tatiana Morales. Um, she goes, and goes on to say that um, all 50 states rely on the offenders to voluntarily register themselves. Um, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. So states need to make it mandatory. We don't have to make it go through the whole entire federal process. We just have to make it go through the state process. Federal, um, it, it would take twice the amount of time, twice the amount of uh, resources. It would take a lot more to get um, something so simple into effect. Um, Also, um, Kevin brought up um, the how what the, what their plan of action wasn't really to ostracize people, but to just make the punishments harsh enough so where that they don't really have to that they're, they're still living in the community but taking away kind of some of their liberties. Um, Kate uh, Wise, I believe her name, uh, Kate Wise, uh, from uh, library.finelaw.com. He stated that uh, most child molesters aren't pedophiles and have the possibility to change, but stigmatizing them reduces their chances. So the more we punish them, the more they're not going to want to change. If we really want these people to change, we need to give them, we still need to punish them, but not to the point of them feeling so ashamed that they just want to kill themselves. Um, I read an article uh, last night, I, I don't have it printed with me, but um, people there's this, this man, uh, after uh, the sentence was given to him and you know, the whole uh, punishment, he took an exacto knife to his throat and almost killed himself. I mean, people have the ability to change. It's just we have to ask ourselves uh, as a society uh, whether our criminal justice system is appropriately dealing with these uh, sexual offenders. We just have to look at it more uh, carefully and. Um, I'll